All right, so what's your name? Amber. Amber, how old are you? 36. Where are you from originally? Uh, Missouri. What are you doing out here in Phoenix? <laughs> I live out here now. <laughs> well, I have my daughter out here. How long you been out here? About 20 years. Okay. And what's your current situation? Are you homeless? No. No? No, it's just because my dude passed away, so I'm staying with some friends for right now. Okay. To get back on my feet. Do you mind me asking how he passed away? He died because he had, a, he had ammonia, the flu, and his oxygen level was going going fast. Okay. Yeah. He was in jail, and a week after he got out of jail, he died. Yeah. How long ago was that? On January 8th of this year. So yeah. about like five months ago? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. So, you were telling me that you were homeless before? Yeah, and so I met him, he got me off the street. But yeah, I was homeless before. That's all because I got shot by my baby daddy and put me in the hospital, so yeah. I lost my job, my place, everything because of him. He shot you? Mm -hmm. Where did he shoot you at? At my lower right hand side of my back. Okay. Yeah, because I was working, I was paying my bills, I was doing everything, but he... That jealous of me, so yeah. he fucked me up. What happened to him? He died. He got deported back to Mexico, and he passed away. Oh, so he was a Mexican guy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you call the cops on him, or what? No, his mom did. His own yeah. mom called, had him deported. His mom did. That's good. Yeah. Oh, so that's the reason why he got deported, because he shot you? Yeah, because he... Did, he, he didn't have to serve any time? No, they just deported him. You yeah. got real lucky then. Yeah, he did. But, I mean, I still love him. I was with him for 15 years. Yeah. So we got one daughter together. Where'd you meet him? I met him at the bus stop in Tempe. Okay. <laughs> yeah, in Tempe. He was so he wasn't like no high school sweetheart or nothing? No, he, w he was getting off of work, and I met him when I was over there going to an ex-boyfriend's house. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I just kicked it with him all day. What did he tell you? Did he know how to speak English? Yeah, not? he did. He spoke yeah. really well English. Okay. Yeah. I learned Spanish to talk to but, his mom. Okay, but he was uh, born in Mexico? Yeah. He was raised here, though? Yeah. He got here when he was three. Yeah. He was raised here. Yeah. And he was raised here ever since. He's been here ever since. Like 30 something years. So were you working at the time when that happened, when you got shot? Yeah, I was. I I worked at McDonald's on 32nd and Indian School. I was worked there for 10 years. I worked there. And I got shot, and then you lost your job. They thought I quit because I did no call no show. So. How long did you spend in the hospital? About a good three four months. So I just so I heal. It would heal right. And yeah, I've been. Did you go into a coma or anything like that? No. No. Yeah. Did it hit your lungs? No. Anything? No. It was on my backside. Okay. So, yeah. No. It didn't hit nothing. It was good. It was just because he was jealous? Mm-hmm. Or was it because he was drunk or anything no, like that? No, he, he didn't drink. He didn't... What, he thought you were cheating on him or something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, that's crazy. And he told me, I can't have you, nobody can have you. I said, okay. Yeah. It was that crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I'm... So what do you do now? Right now, I'm working on getting my, my job back. I just At gotta, McDonald's? Yeah, I just got to get my social and shit. But, yeah. I'm trying to go back to work. I'm not trying to be out here like that. Yeah. But it is hard. Don't get me wrong. It is hard out here. Yeah. No. Is that the only kind of work you've done? You've never mm. done like warehouse or nothing like that? Mm -mm. No? No. Nope. I've always done just fast food. Did you start at like 18 years old or what? No. Like when I when, when I moved out here, I, I just barely like started getting a job. But I got a job in Tempe at a weenie snizzle. So it's just like I've been... Fast food all mm -hmm. the time. Yeah. 
fast food is about to get replaced by robots. Oh, no. That's what they say. Don't say that. Yeah. No. They I have did. burger flipping robots now. <laughs> you know that, right? No, I don't. Yeah. That's crazy. You said you were in Payson? Yeah, right now I just barely got back from Payson. What were you doing up there? Just visiting. Okay, you have family up there? No, I have friends. Okay. I know a lot of people, so. It's beautiful out there, ain't it? Hell yeah, it is. The weather different? It's a little bit cooler than over here. A little bit, but it's it's pretty nice. That's good. Yeah. So you be out here working mm. on the on the streets? No, so not not really. I just try to stay at home. I try to stay inside. Does it get dangerous out here or not? By what I've been hearing, yes, it has. Yeah. Yeah, because there's been girls coming at me seeing. Like people have been dying left and right. Do you know anyone personally? Mm -mm. Nothing's ever happened to you out here? No, but I'm scared. Well, yeah, one time there did. The guy tried to snatch me up over here um, by, by Camp, oh, not Campbell, uh, Roosevelt. Yeah. Right by the cemetery. So it's like, no, yeah. Was it at nighttime? Yeah, it was yeah. at nighttime, yeah. But I got out of it, so. What did he yeah. say? He just rolled up to you or what? He walked up to me. He was, okay. he was walking. And he was like, oh, he's like, come on, let's go chill. I was like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. I was barely going back to the house. Yeah, he grabbed me. I was like, wait a minute. No, something wasn't right. So I just tied him off of me. And I just I took off and went home. Yeah. That's good, man. That's good that you got out of that situation. Yeah, there's some crazy shit that be happening out here left to right. I met girls that's actually been kidnapped. I met girls that's actually been a lot of things out here. Yeah. That's why I'm even scared to be out here and I saying, fuck that. I'll stay at home. Yeah. Where do you stay at now? I Is make, it an apartment or a house? It's a house. It's got three houses on the property. So three houses? Three different houses, yeah. How much do you pay? Um, well, what he's paying was like seven, I think 700. It's my ex-boyfriend's brother is paying okay. the rent, so yeah. Oh, and he rents out the rooms? Yeah, he went, well, it's only a one, like a one bedroom. It's like a one bedroom apartment type. Yeah. But it, he rented it for his storage, so he put stuff in the stores. But since they kicked me out, he let me stay there. Stay there? So yeah, because hmm. his brother passed away, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the rents are out of control out here in Phoenix, huh? Oh my God, too much. It's too much. Yeah, it is. And it's just gonna get higher and higher, they say. So. Yep. All right, well, hey man, thank you for sharing your story. I really yeah. do appreciate it. All right, thank you. Yeah.